Hey, what's up, fam? Been wanting to do this review throughout the day, but I've been really tired. I just got some of that, uh, that Sunday kind of worn down re relaxation and, and rest vibe going on. But I want to get this review out so you guys can uh, listen to it and tell me what exactly your opinions were about this episode. They've been keeping up this two to two and a half. I think one of them was actually three chapters into one episode. This was two and a half. And it actually ended off right in the uh, in the chapter when when God Serena was revealed. I, I won't go too much into that in case uh, somebody is an anime only guy. I you know like I said I'll leave it at that. And uh, otherwise you can find out who I'm talking about next week. But regarding the episode, you know you had some nice discussions between the 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 members of the Fairy Tale Guild, all of them kind of meeting back up them being pretty happy to, to see each other again and just kind of get back into the shenanigans that they were in getting in uh getting them in brawls over nothing but it was being more of a a fun kind of bonding sibling brawl always kind of feeling with them though they always tend to make go a little out of hand you get to see a levy just kind of set up from this time and be like yeah i'm the only one that's going to be able to get this paperwork done so we can be an official guild again so you know never everyone shut up so i can do this and uh, Wendy's just completely just, she's extremely thankful, a little bit too thankful. She starts like sobbing over and they're talking about who's going to be the next guild master. It kind of, the obvious answers are like Laxus and Guild Arts, but Guild Arts not being around. No, no one knows where he and Laxus are at the time, at least no one within that whole circle. And while the, the fights kind of break out, the obvious person to be in charge, even though she didn't, seems a little bit... Uh, a little bit nervous about it, a little bit, uh, just kind of how Urza is when she's put in any situation like that. As the appointed seven guild master, she just kind of wanted to, uh, to pass on it. But it looks like she's she's got to take it. Urza, she's got she's got really two two kind of uh, big key things to her. I know some people have called her Mary Sue, which is just even close because. She's really only good at two major things. She's a good authoritative figure, but she's she's good at it passively. She's not nearly as good when she's like, "Hey, people are counting on me to lead right now, and we're we're in a very more relaxed zone." She can do it whenever she like is very serious, but something like this, it, she, she kind of clearly gets a little nervous about it. And then she's good at fighting, even though she's got passions for stuff. Like we know she's. She tries to like sing and, and act. She's terrible at it. Her handwriting is, is really bad. But I know she tries. And I like that about her. Also her quick temper, obviously, completely kind of ruins that whole thing with her. But anyway. Once they once that kinda happens, Mesh shows up, Duranvolt, whichever one you and you want to go with. And obviously Duranvolt's his real name. And he's just like, Hey, I gotta show the next guild master this because it's important. Uh, things are gonna happen. You know, it, once he kind of gets down to where Fairy Heart is, Lumen Histoire, you know, that whole thing, he notices the, all the key members ended up following him there. I mean, once once Natsu knew it was pretty much inevitable because he could just follow them based on scent. As, as long as, unless he didn't know where they were going, and uh, then they would have probably gotten away, but the fact he probably saw them, he's like, well, are they going to follow him? They weren't going to get away from his ability just to smell and, and you know, keep up with him. He actually got a really nice part with Lucy covering up Natsu's eyes because they're seeing, you know, Mavis in the crystal and she's naked. And they, they tell the story of, well, they don't really tell a story. It's more of Durample putting his memories inside their heads, seeing the events of when he first was given the task to go into the Magic Council by Makarov. It ended up erasing his memory so he can kind of get more, pers like, more like uh, honed in that whole job. And then while he's in there after a while, he's like, I know. I'll infiltrate Fairy Tail and I'll erase my memories and figure out what they're doing. So he had some like hilarity level false second third level agent, some you know some junk like that, which is still pretty funny when you think about it. I really liked and just kind of following up in the Grand Magic games when he still didn't really know, but he just uh, seemed very thankful that the guild was back and then finding out in Tartarus that he was actually part of the guild all the time and and getting his memories uh fully returned to him which is pretty nice but then you see why makarov ended up disbanding the guild something that i was eventually ah, i'm stuttering because you could tell that i'm uh i want to talk about this when they get to the 
the Albreth, Albreth, I'm pretty sure Albreth is the official translation. Either way, either's fine. I've seen people go back and forth with it. It's not a huge thing of the Empire and their whole might coming over soon to try and invade again. And Makarov disbanding the guild so no, none of them would kind of get hurt in, uh, in relationship to that whole thing. But where he would go try and negotiate them on his own and hopefully Duran Bolt can try and do his own part while he's away try and rebuild the council which he's been obviously working on whereas now the you know team nuts and everybody are like we need to go we need to go get you know makarov and, and, and try and bring him back make sure he's okay he's been over there for a year they don't know his situation it's uh pretty rough and then you could tell from urzo when they're talking about hey we need to be careful because he said even even as strong as we are there we can't defeat them so we need to we need to be very cautious and then obviously there's just like not so we know we know you need to acknowledge this you're the only one here that really needs to acknowledge that we need to be like sneaky and cautious and he's like okay yeah okay fine then they get ready to leave and obviously though as it's it, like i said with if they didn't know what was happening it'd be different okay they wouldn't be able to have all this dragon slayer cheatery with being able to follow them based on a likely scent or in gadgil's case being able to hear them and pretty much pick up everything that went down now he's going to pretty much reform b team to go and get laxus so they can join them on this quest to the albreth kingdom to get back macro so it's a really good setup episode the next one i think will be a lot more interesting because it's it's going to lead up to some pretty fun events I'm, I'm trying not to say too much because for those who might watch this that are anime only i don't want to give them any spoilers but for those who have read the manga, they know what I'm talking about. I, I gotta be careful. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But otherwise, uh, yeah, like I said, fun, fun stuff. I actually really like my favorite part of the episode was when uh, Gray was talking about how it was more like Juvia was haunting him than living with him, and you just see her kind of like loom around the corner with that look on her face. I thought that was really, really nicely done and just funny in all aspects. Not like a complete like gut busting laugh but just like a constant like chuckle and when you think back at it, even like way later it's still funny but that's mostly it for this episode like the video if you enjoy this kind of content subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos mostly manga and anime stuff and those who are already subscribed i appreciate it thank you very much and uh, thank you everyone for listening